Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day in which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am Elder Cosme E. Sims. And we are Jesus Reigns Restoration Ministry. Amen. Where Jesus is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank God for this opportunity to minister the word of God one more time. Amen. And the Lord has given us a word on today. And we're going to go right to our lesson. Hallelujah. First, before we go to the lesson, I'd like to thank, hallelujah, all the saints that have given words of encouragement and comments concerning the word of God. And what is being ministered to God's Na wale people wale and being encouraged and strengthened through the word of God. Moyo, wa wa mungu mule, Having a strong walk mule. with God. Amen. Amen. And Amen. an increase in faith. Tuna wa nasi. So we greatly appreciate your blessings. Sana kwa but to mabarazen. God be the glory for the great things he's katika done. Yotu buwana, katika yotu Amen. And a Sifu blessing to the Bible study group. For, Na kwa wana, wa, kundi la we Bibilia. bless you for your faithfulness. Kwa kweli buwana, kwa yenu. Not just your commitment to the group. But your faithfulness to God. And seeking God's face that he may be found. Amen. God bless you all. And today's lesson is. Don't hit the rock. Don't hit the rock. And the thought of this lesson. Be careful how you treat God's people. Because it's not what people do to you. It's what we do to people. Having the power and authority of God. We are called to be witnesses of God Tume as saints. First Peter 5 and 2 through verse 4. I would like for you to read those, please. Okay. Tasoma katika jina la buwana. Lichunge ni kundi la mungu. Lililo kwenu. Na kulisimamia. Sikwa kulalamishwa. Sio kwa kulazimishwa, samahani. Bali kwa hiari. Kama mungu watakavyo. Si kwa kutaka fedha ya aibu. Bali kwa moyo. Wala si kama wajifanyao mabwana juu ya mitaa yao. Bali kwa kujifanya vielelezo kwa lile kundi. Na mchungaji mkuu atakapo dihirishwa. Ntaipokea taji ya utukufu. Ile isiyo kauka. Whether as a member of the body of Christ, as a saint, or a minister. Yes. Read that I want you to say that, please. Uh-huh. In Swahili. Amen. Whether as a member of the body of Christ, as a saint. Hajalishi kamba wewe ni mumini. Yani ni mumini wa ni mkristu ni umeokoka. Or as a minister of God. Awe ni mtumishu wa mungu. This word applies to all. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Take the oversight thereof, mm -hmm. not by constraint, mm -hmm. but willingly. Mm -hmm. Do thing, doing things willingly. Yani Amen. Kazi ya mungu kwa hiari. Amen. Not Amen. a filthy lucre. Not not trying to make a dollar. Sio faida ya kipesa. But a ready mind. Bali kuwa na utayari katika neither being lords. Zetu. Neither being lords. That's with a little l. Yani, tusiwe tu, yani, tunataka tu kutawala watu wengine. Over God's inheritance. Wa orithi, wa orithi wa Kristo. There's a saying saying, too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Kuna msema huku wanapenda kusema, yani, 
machifu wako wengi na wanaoongozwa wana wana ni wachache not being lord making yourself a little god on earth over god's people yani tuepuke kuwa kama vile mabwana fulani mabosi fulani juu ya watu wa Mungu. Amen. Not, Amen. It said neither as being lords over God's inheritance but being example to the flock, being an example of what? Bali tu wa mfano kwa watu wa Mungu. Being an example of God's wabwana, holiness, God's goodness. Utakatifu wa Bwana, wema wa Bwana, God's mercy, neema ya Bwana, rehema God's wabwana, love, upendo wa Bwana. God's power. Amen. Amen. The power which you give you through the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. After that you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive power. First Peter 5 and 4 and when the chief shepherd, which is Christ, shall appear. You shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Amen. God has a reward for your faithfulness. Let's turn our Bibles, hallelujah, to uh, uh, Numbers uh, 20, verse, uh, chapter 20, and starting at verse 1. Again, Numbers, hesabu, chapter 20, sura and we're going to read from verse 1. To verse 13. Amen. So Amen. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read first. Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation to the desert of Zin, Zin and mm-hmm. the first month, and the people aboard aboard in Kadesh mm-hmm. and M- Mira, Mira mm. died there mm-hmm. and was buried there. Amen. 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 Read that please. Uh, kisha wana wa Israeli mkutano wote wakaingia bara ya sini. Katika mwezi wa kwanza watu wakakaa Kadeshi. Miriam akafa huko akazikwa huko. Amen. Oh. We talk the, the next part of this lesson is very crucial so I need you to look, it pertains to the water from the rock. Andiko linalofuata ni muhimu sana hebu kuwa mtue makini maana yake linahusiana hasa na somo hili la leo. Amen. And so I want you to read uh number 2 please. Namba 2 nasema na hapo hapakuwa na maji kwa ule mkutano wakajikusanya juu ya Musa na juu ya Haruni. That's number 2. Okay. And there was no water from uh for the congregation and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. Okay, let me continue mm-hmm. and expound. Mm-hmm. And the people hallelujah uh, they they harassed Moses. And, yeah, sang, and, Musa. and they said, uh, would God have us to die here uh, in the wilderness? And they, and they said, and why would you, why would you uh, brought up the congregation? Why would you bring up the congregation in the wilderness? And, and for our cattle to die here. Aka wa sasa kulalamika. Kwa nini umetuleta huku nyikani ili sisi na mifugo yetu tufie huku? And wherefore have you made us to come out from Egypt to bring us here to this evil place? That's what they said yani, to Moses. Yaani wakasema umetutoa Misri umetuleta sehemu hii mbovu kabisa ya uovu kabisa. They say it's no Hakuna seed, chochote. there's no f- uh, figs, there's Hakuna no begu. vines. Tini, there's no zabini. pomegranate. Neither is there no water. Na wala hakuna maji ya kunywa. And verse 6 it says, And Moses and Aaron went to the presence of the Lord and the assembly of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they fell on their faces, and the glory of God, hallelujah, the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. Read that please. Six. Musa na Haruni wakatoka pale palipokuwa na mkutano palipokuwa mkutano samani wakaenda hata mlangoni pa hema ya kukutania wakaanguka kifudi kifudi utukufu wa Bwana ukawatokea Amen read 7 through 9 please Saba mpaka tisa ikasema Bwana akasema na Musa akinena Twa ile fimbo ukawakusanye mkutano wewe na Haruni ndugu yako Ukawambie mwamba mbele ya macho yao utoe maji yake nawe utawatokezea maji katika mwamba na hivyo 
utawanywesha maji mkutano na wanyama wao. Now the people in the wilderness, God's people after he brought them out of Egypt, he, he led them hallelujah uh, cloud by day and fire by night. Unaona wana wa Israeli alipowatoa kule Misri alikuwa anawaongoza kwa wingu mchana na mnara wa moto usiku. He fed them, he took care of them but they murmured and complained. Aliwatunza, aliwalisha lakini hawakuacha kunungunika na kulalamika. Hawakutosheka. And they, and they always vex the spirit of the man of God, the men of God Aaron and Moses. Na muda wote walikuwa wakim, wakimkwaza mtumishi wa Mungu Musa na Haruni. And their protest here is about water again. Na hapa tena wanalalamikia maji. And so Aaron and Moses they go to the house of God to meet the Lord. Tasa wakaenda Musa na Haruni kukutana na Bwana kuhusu hili swali. And verse 7 and the Lord spoke unto Moses and said, Take the rod. Correction. Let me read uh Hallelujah. Mm, the verse yes. 8. Number number eight. Mm-hmm. Take the rod, and gather thou this an assembly together, thou, and earn mm-hmm. thy brother, mm-hmm. and speak ye mm-hmm. unto the rock mm-hmm. before their eyes, mm-hmm. and it shall give forth mm-hmm. his water, mm-hmm. and thou shalt bring mm-hmm. forth mm-hmm. to them water mm-hmm. out of the rock. Mm-hmm. So thou mm-hmm. shall give the congregation mm-hmm. and their beasts drink. Indeed. Amen. Amen. And Moses took the rod. That's a Musa akachukua ile fimbo from before the Lord as he commanded him. Musa akachukua ile fimbo kutoka mbele za Bwana kama alivyomwamuru. No, God had given him a rod. Kumbuka mwanzoni alipoitwa kwenye huduma ya watu wa Mungu, Musa alipewa fimbo hili. Later on in the lesson I'll explain the reason and I'll explain the the purpose of the rod. Baadaye kwenye somo hili, mtumishi wa Mungu atafafanua vizuri sana kuhusu maana ya hii fimbo na umuhimu wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to read 10 and 11. 10 na 11 <coughs> anasema, Musa na Haruni wakakusanya ma, wakakusanya kusanyiko mbele ya mwamba akawaambia sikieni sasa enyi waasi je tuwatokezee maji katika mwamba huu Musa uh, that's, that's 10 read 11. 11 please Musa akainua mkono wake akaupiga ule mwamba kwa fimbo yake mara mbili maji yakatoka mengi mkutano wakanywa na wanyama wao pia and Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock and he said unto them here now ye rebels must we fetch water out of this rock mm-hmm. and Moses lifted up his hand and with his rod he smote he hit the rock twice mm-hmm and the water came out abundantly. Mm-hmm. And the congregation drank and their beasts also. Mm-hmm. Read 12 and 13 please. 12 na 13 nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Bwana akamwambia Musa na Haruni, "Kwa kuwa hamkuniamini mimi ili kunistahi mbele ya macho ya wana wa Israeli kwa basi kwa sababu hiyo hamtawaingiza kusanyiko hili katika ile nchi niliyowapa maji haya ni maji ya meriba kwa sababu wana wa Israeli waliteta na Bwana naye alijionyesha kuwa mtakatifu kati yao verse 12 hallelujah verse 11 and 12 and Moses hallelujah verse 12 and 13 hallelujah which one did I tell you to read uh, from 11 11 and 12 from 11 praise god yeah okay read 13 no start uh uh let's continue to st- first start 12. from 11 start from I, 11 i'll start from 11 mm. and with with his rod he smote hallelujah and moses lifted up his hand and hallelujah and he smote the rock twice mm-hmm. and water came out abundantly in the congregation uh drank and their beasts also. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron, mm. because ye believe me not. Mm-hmm. I want y'all to remember that. Yeah, and the Lord Wana, spoke to Moses and Aaron and said, because you believe me not mm-hmm. to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, mm-hmm. therefore ye shall 
not bring this congregation into the land in which I have given them. Mm. Read 13, please. Kumina tatu inasema hivi. Maji haya ni maji ya meriba kwa sababu wana wa Israeli waliteta na bwana naye alijionyesha kuwa mtakatifu kati yao. Verse 13. And this water of Me- meriba, meriba mm. because the children of Israel strove mm. with the Lord mm. and he sanctified in them. Mm. We note in verse 8. God had given Moses a rod. Angalia mstari wa nane, Bwana alimpa Musa fimbo. That rod represents God's authority, God's power. Hiyo fimbo ilikuwa inawakilisha mamlaka ya Bwana. And with that with that rod, I will demonstrate and show you that it's a lot more that comes with power and authority. It also what comes with it is supposed to be uh loving kindness, meekness and one can for the sheep. Utaona mamlaka na madaraka yanakuja na mambo mengi sana inaambatana nayo. Unyenyekevu, upole, hallelujah. umakini. Amen. And, and being a, a, a under shepherd of the sheep. Na ukiwa mchungaji wa kondoo wa Bwana. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so God told hallelujah, earn gave instruction, a commandment to earn and to Moses to speak to the rock. Unaona Bwana alitoa maelekezo watamke, waseme na mwamba. Before their eyes so they can see you speaking to the rock. Ili watu waone Musa akiongea na ule mwamba. Then it shall give forth water to, to, for drink for them and for their beasts. Wakaambiwa wa huo mwamba utatoa maji. But in verse 11. Katika mstari wa 11 tunaona hapo. Hallelujah. Matter of fact verse 10. Let's go there. What Moses did. Hallelujah. Moses, hallelujah. It said that Moses and Aaron mm-hmm. gathered the congregation together. They brought the people together like God said. But they deviated from God. They, they left God's instructions. And how did they leave God's instructions? When he brought the people around the rock, he said unto them, Hear me. No, no. And he called them rebels. Akawaita wa asi. Mistake number one. He Kosa cursed kwanza, the people. Aliwalaani watu kawaita ni wa asi. You rebels. Kama he called them a name. Aliwaita wa asi. Must we fetch water for you? We got to get water for you. Yani hapa ni kama kusawa. Lapi ya kawa na wasimanga. That's mistake number two. Tuatokeze maji katika muamba huu. Yani kwa nyasimanga. Then what he did, he lifted up his hand and he... Smote the rock twice with his with the rod that God had given him. And water, water came out. The people drunk in their cattle. Their but God, hallelujah. We can provoke God to anger. The Lord made it clear. If you love me, keep my commandments. Numbers and Numbers 20 and 12 and 13. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron. And what God did in his rebuke, he says, because you believe me not. Sasa hapa tunashangaa Bwana alitumia neno la kusema kwamba hawakumwamini. That's that's deep. Yani hilo ni ni neno zito sana. Lina God gave him a commandment. Bwana aliwapa amri. That if you speak to the rock, kwamba ukiusemesha mwamba, that it will bring forth water. Maji yatatoka. But you chose Lakini wao wakaamua to hit the rock. Kupiga mwamba. And that's why he's saying because you believe me now. Yaani hapa ndicho anasema hawakuamini yale maelekezo aliyopata. It's impossible for God to lie. Tunajua ni vigumu kwa Bwana kusema uongo. Hey, hallelujah. What God God is not like man that he would lie. Kwamba Mungu sio kama mwanadamu aseme uongo. You've been taking my instruction up to now. Yaani kwamba walikuwa wanapewa maelekezo yake mpaka sasa hivi. And you've been receiving it and believing it as being true. Na ukawa kiamini kwamba ni kweli. I give you this commandment and you believe me not. 
lakini yeye amri niliyokupa kuhusu huu mwamba hukuiamini to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel kunistahi mbele za wana wa Israeli and i told you when you speak to the rock do it in the eyes of the congregation so they may see what you are doing and hear what you're saying nilitaka yani bwana alitaka Musa aseme na mwamba mbele ya macho ya wale watu waone kabisa kinachoendelea therefore because hallelujah because you shall he said therefore you shall not hivyo akamwambia hawezi bring this congregation bring this people into the land which i have given thee the land that he has given them is the land of milk and honey Hallelujah. Yaani ile ardhi aliyowapatia ni ile nchi ya Kanani. The land that flows with milk and honey. Amen. Mm. Yenye baraka zote hizo. Amen. That was right there God was giving them punishment and letting them know they will not cross over. Hapo Bwana aliwajulisha Musa na Haruni kwamba hawatavuka kuingia. And you remember in the scriptures I bring it to your remembrance that before Moses died God allowed him to look over into the land that flowed with milk and honey but he could not step over into Tutaona baadaye kama Musa hakumruhusu Bwana kumruhusu Musa kabisa aliruhusu au paone lakini hakuruhusu aingie Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah And Hallelujah Somo sana ile leo Somo zito sana kwa And he said because he said not only that he said because you also did not sanctify the people Hallelujah and he said He said to sanctify me mm. in the eyes of the children of mm. Israel. Mm. Mm. Therefore you will not you not you will not bring this congregation, you will not bring this people into the new land. Mhm. Akamwambia kwa sababu uko nistahi mbele za wana hao wa Israeli, hutaingia huta nao nchi ya Kanani. That was Moses punishment. Yaani ndio adhabu yake. Ni neno la kusikitisha sana. But the crime of disobeying God was was so great and we we're going to break it down as we go throughout the scripture. Tutai tutaelezea kwa kina hii likosa la kutokumtii Bwana. Hallelujah. Ni hatari sana watu wa Mungu. Amen. Hizi siku za mwisho. It's a thought here that I would like to give. Em ngoja ni 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 wachanganulie somo wazo hili. That rod that he had. Yaani ile fimbo aliyopewa na Bwana. The word rod and staff symbolize the concern and compassion that a shepherd has for his sheep. Fimbo ile ya mchungaji wa kondoo inawakilisha kujali kwake na hali yake ya kujali na rehema ambayo mchunga kondoo anakuwa nayo kwa ajili ya kondoo wake. The rod that he that God had gave Moses represent authority, power, discipline and defense for the sheep. Ile fimbo inawakilisha mamlaka ya Bwana, nguvu za Bwana inawakilisha ku, ku, ku nidhamu na ulinzi kwa wale kondoo. The staff represents all that is long suffering and kind. Na ile fimbo pia inawakilisha uvumilivu na uwema. As a sheep leading hallelujah some yuzi. natural uh, as a shepherd leading some natural sheep and he have a staff with a hook on it to fight off predators and to with that hook he can guide the sheep the anyone that happen to stray tunaona ile fimbo mwishoni kule ilikuwa imejikunja fulani hivi na imejikunja ile inasaidia kuongoza kondoo wakiwa wanapotea na kupambana na adui yoyote atakayetokea remember in first samuel 15 and 22 samuel said he says hallelujah have the lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices Mm-hmm. as in obeying the voice of the lord mm-hmm. behold mm-hmm. to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken hallelujah to hear than fatted hallelujah the fat of rams amen amen and w- i want to continue Indeed. for rebellion Mm-hmm. I want you to remember that word rebellion. Mm-hmm. We talk about obedience in this Anazum verse. Hapa. But in verse 23 for rebellion Plus. as of sin mm-hmm. of witchcraft and stubbornness and it said is as iniquity and idolatry because thou has rejected mm-hmm. the word of the Lord he have rejected thee as being king. Hallelujah. Read that. Mstari wa 22 nasema naye Samuel akasema je Bwana 
huzipenda sadaka za kuteketezwa na dhabihu sawa sawa na kuitii sauti ya Bwana angalia kutii ni bora kuliko dhabihu na kusikia kuliko mafuta ya bebero kwani kuasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi na ukaidi ni kama ukafiri na vinyago kwa kuwa umelikana neno la Bwana ye naye amekukataa wewe usiwe mfame Saul King Saul's disobedience to the word of the Lord the prophet God sent the prophet to correct him to... Hapa mfame Sauli alikuwa amekosea na Bwana alimtuma kumpa huu jumbe And to remind him that obedience is better than sacrifice and to hear the word of the Lord is better than any hallelujah is better than any other sacrifice that you can make in doing what God say do. Yaani hapa alikuwa anamuelewesha kwamba kutii ni bora kuliko dhabihu na kutii sauti ya Bwana ni muhimu kuliko kitu chochote. But rebellion is like witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and serving idols. Yaani akamwambia aka jinsi ambavyo Bwana anachukia kuasi na ukaidi akasema kuasi ni, ni kama dhambi ya uchawi na ukaidi ni kama yani kafiri ni mtu asiyeamini na the, vinyago ni mtu anayeabudu sanamu the people were hallelujah and his people something that was supposed to take no more than 40 days took 40 years for a lot of them unaona wengi ili, kitu cha kuchukua siku 40 ilichukua miaka 40 because the word of god is described them as a stiff neck people kwa sababu neno la bwana linaelezea walikuwa ni watu wabishi wa kaidi and it, what it's nothing new under the sun hakuna kipya chini ya jua kuna watu tunafanya nao huduma ni wabishi if you are maelezo. rebellious to the word of god hmm. you perform a witchcraft Ku, mtu ambaye anabishana na neno la mungu ni sawa sawa anafanya dhambi ya uchawi it's on a level of witchcraft god And stubborn, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Stubbornness is as sin and serving idols. Idolatry. Why? Because you reject the word of the Lord. Amen. And when we reject the word of the Lord, what he said to one, he said to all. Haleluya neno la Bwana anapomwambia mmoja anatuambia sisi wote sio tu reject the word of the Lord the Lord will reject us. Tu, yani tukikataa neno la Bwana Bwana atatukataa na kitukataa ni adui atatuburuza ata kweli kweli. He said if you don't if you be ashamed of me if you be ashamed of me and you don't profess me I won't profess you. Amesema Bwana tayari tukimuonea haya na tusipomshuhudia ye kwa watu na ye atatu atashindwa kutushuhudia mbele za baba. But if you are not ashamed of me and you profess me before men, I profess you before the angels and my holy father. Anasema tusipomuonea haya na ye atatukiri Amen. mbele za Bwana na malaika kule mbinguni mbele Amen. za baba. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you read Ephesians 4 and 6 uh, and 4. Ukisoma wa Efeso 6 mstari wa 4. It says hallelujah and ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath mm -hmm. but bring them up in the nurture and admiration of the Lord and this is something that natural fathers are to do for their children but Moses was also to do for the children of God that were in the wilderness when God said speak to the rock Hili andiko linalosema nanya kina baba msiwachokoze watoto wenu bali Waleeni katika adabu na maonyo ya Bwana. Musa alikosea hapa, alishindwa kuwalea kama baba kwa wakati ule. By calling them wa. rebels, by calling them rebels. Akaanza kuwaita waasi. He are provoking them to anger. Alikuwa na anawakasirisha. By by questioning them whether I should get this water for you when they're dying of thirst. Kuwasimanga na kuwanyanyasa kwamba anawauliza kama awape maji wakati wameshamwambia wana kiu. You provoking somebody to anger. Unam, yani unam, unamfanya mtu asira inuke. And they don't see you. They don't see God but they see you. Hawamuoni Mungu, wanakuona wewe uliyeko mbele yao. And you and Moses was making them dependent upon him instead of the Lord. Musa alijiweka kama vile wamtegemea yeye badala kumtegemea Bwana. Instead of sanctifying them in the presence of the Lord. Badala ya kuwa kuwaweka sawa sawa katika staha mbele za Bwana. We have to be careful we don't steal God's glory. Inabidi tu waangalifu sana tusibebe utukufu wa Bwana. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This conclude part one of our lesson. 
Hapa tutamalizia sehemu ya kwanza somo letu kabla kuingia sehemu ya pili. Don't hit the rock. Usiupige mwamba. Don't hit the rock. Usiupige mwamba. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hapa uh, chini ya ujumbe huu kutakuwepo na link kwa yule atakayehitaji kujiunga na kupewa ratiba ya kujisomea Biblia. Hata kama uhitaji kujiunga na kundi, wapo wengi wanajiunga, wanapewa yani ratiba ukija kwenye hiyo link, subiri wa hudumu atakuja kukusikiliza tuna tofauti ya masaa saba au nane. tutakusikiliza utakupa ratiba yako kwenye inbox ubarikiwe tutaonana sehemu ya pili ya somo asante